Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 1 has provided plenty of surprises, but one detail from the Rainbow Room in Hawkins' lab may have huge importance. Do you maybe have a memory like that? Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 1 has given fans an abundance of scares and thrills, but a detail in the Rainbow Room of Hawkins' lab has greater importance than first appears. At the end of Stranger Things Season 3, 11, Millie Bobby Brown loses her powers in the fight with the Mind Flayer, while her adoptive father Jim Hopper, David Harbour, appears to be dead. As a result, she, along with Joyce, Winona Ryder, Will, Noah Schnapp, and Jonathan Byers, Charlie Heaton, moves to Lenora Hills in California to start a new life away from Hawkins, Indiana. The events of Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 1 soon turn this on its head. Not only is Hopper still alive, but Eleven is also mercilessly bullied at her school, while her friends in Hawkins have to deal with the threat of the Freddy Krueger-like Vecna, Jamie Campbell Bauer. From my, from, from, okay, okay, from. okay, okay, Eleven, you're being ridiculous. When Eleven is given the opportunity to regain her powers, she goes to a secret installation, where she is reintroduced to Dr. Martin Brenner, Matthew Modine. Despite misgivings about working with Brenner again, Eleven undergoes his training. By doing this, she learns that she didn't perpetrate a massacre of the other test subjects in Hawkins' lab in 1979. Instead, it was Henry Creel who killed the children before asking her to join him and use their combined powers to reshape the world. When Eleven refused, Creel tried to kill her too, but she resisted and banished him to another dimension that became the Upside Down, where he became Vecna. The Stranger Things Season 4 scene, where Eleven and Henry Creel face each other in the Rainbow Room has an interesting background detail. There is a rainbow running along the wall behind the two of them. However, the colors of this rainbow are not the same behind Creel as they are behind Eleven. In fact, they are reversed, with a line of violet at the top and red at the bottom behind Creel, and a line of red at the top and violet at the bottom behind Eleven. This illustrates that, despite their extraordinary powers, Eleven and Creel are different and can be understood as opposites or mirrors of each other, which explains why Eleven can't join him. Of course, the rainbow on the wall can be interpreted as simply a reference to the upside down, which certainly makes sense. However, it is not the only mirroring in the scene. As Eleven and Vecna fight each other telekinetically, they mirror each other's actions with Eleven reaching out with her right hand, while Vecna favors his left. Once again, the similarities between them are clear, while the differences, although subtle, are potentially more significant. However, it is the way that Eleven and Vecna channel their powers that best illustrates their opposition. When Eleven visits her spiritual sister Kali 8, Linnea Berthelsen, in Stranger Things Season 2, Kali uses anger to channel her powers. This is similar to Vecna, but Stranger Things 4 seasons have shown that Eleven is different. While hate and anger are powerful motivators, love and friendship are far greater sources of her strength. At the end of Stranger Things Season 1, it is the urge to protect her friends that gives Eleven the power to defeat the Demogorgon, while in Stranger Things Season 2, it is happy positive memories of the people she loves that allow her to close the gate to the upside down. Similarly, when Creel tries to kill her after she refuses to join him, it is Eleven's memory of her mother, Terry Ives, Amy Mullins, telling her she loves her that gives her the strength to send him into the upside down. Vecna is incapable of knowing or understanding love, and this is the reason why he is alone. In comparison, despite the trauma of her life, Eleven knows love, friendship, and sacrifice. It is easy to assume that this will be important in Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 2 as it's likely that the people she loves will allow Eleven to fully embrace her powers and abilities which stem from her being Vecna's mirror image, giving her the chance to defeat him again.